important things for you to create with the people you lead is a sense of an ongoing relationship. But that can be difficult. It's not the, the relationship part really that's so difficult, it's the ongoing part. When we're as busy as we are and when there are a lot of time pressures, it's tempting to manage our relationship with people in ways that fit our calendar. That can lead us to have these one and done sort of episodic interactions where we parachute in and we try to do some good leading and we hope good things happen as we support or encourage or, or direct people in those moments. But that makes for a difficult situation when it comes to accountability. If you want people to step up and take greater responsibility for what they're doing, to show greater accountability or, or raise their level of commitment, you want to create a sense of an ongoing relationship. Because real relationships don't happen episodically, they happen continually over time. Let me offer three strategies that you might use to create this kind of ongoing relationship with the people that you lead. First, schedule standing meetings with the people that you lead. I don't mean meetings that you actually literally stand up to conduct business, but I mean put meetings on the calendar that stretch out across the calendar in a way that's predictable, that's continuous. You know, often I work with leaders that will tell the people that they lead, I'm always available to you. I have an open door. I'm happy to meet whenever you need me. And I think that's a good sentiment. They're, they're definitely being open to people and they're being supportive, but they're trying to manage their schedule by saying, let's only meet when it's necessary. That doesn't really communicate relationship. When you're in a real relationship with someone, it, it's not scheduled around need. It's not utilitarian. It means that there's a little part of you that's permanently subscribed to them. So if you want to create an ongoing relationship with the people that you lead, you need to mirror that kind of commitment in the way that your meetings are scheduled. Now, I don't know how often you need these meetings, and I don't know how long those meetings need to be. It might be a half an hour every week. It might be an hour every two weeks. Maybe you just touch base with a phone call every month. But the important thing is that this meeting occurs whether or not there's an immediate need for it. It occurs because you are in an ongoing relationship together and you're committing that time as evidence of the fact that that will continue. The second strategy is set the agenda for your meetings. Often leaders try to support the people they lead by calling the meeting but then turning to them and saying, hey, what do you want to talk about? What's on your list? That may communicate some level of deference and support, but it doesn't necessarily reinforce the idea that you're in an ongoing relationship. Instead, you set the meeting agenda. This communicates that you've been looking forward to this time, you've anticipated it, and you've prepared for them. It makes complete sense if a major part of your agenda is actually turning to them for what they think is important or covering the issues that they'd like to bring up, but you create the agenda and you run the meeting. At the beginning of the meeting, as part of your agenda, spend a little time reaching back and connecting to the last meeting. It's like when you watch a television show and the first few minutes of the show are a recap to bring you up to speed on what's gone before. This is their effort to create continuity so that it's all one long story. This is what you should do with your meeting agendas too. Create an idea of continuity so people realize that they're part of an ongoing relationship with you. The third strategy is make it personal. You may have heard that adage when people will say, look, it's not personal, it's just business. But when it comes to crafting an ongoing relationship, it has to be personal. So in the time that you spend with people in these standing meetings or in the context of your agenda, make sure that you get personal. I mean, be interested in some of the things that they're, they're experiencing outside their work or outside of the specific tasks that you're working on together. Make sure that you have some understanding and some interaction about their personal life. And maybe even more important, give them access to yours. Be vulnerable enough to share a little bit of what's going on in your life outside the context of your work. Because when you make it personal, they'll have a sense that they're in a real relationship with you. So if you do these three things, you're going to find that your relationship is much more real, much more authentic. If you want people to step up to greater levels of accountability or increase their level of commitment, you want to make sure that you evidence an ongoing relationship by having standing meetings, by setting the agenda, and making it personal.